Here are the birds. I'm home in Mexico, about to uncover my car after it being covered for six months. Hi friends. Well, so far, all is well in Ajijic, Mexico. It's kind of hard to make a video and not talk about the coronavirus. I've heard some rumors. Uh, one of them is that uh, people are not drinking as much Corona beer because they think you're going to get the coronavirus from it. A lot of ridiculous rumors out there. You know, it's been my... Um, nature and life to laugh at things and I uh, don't think this is a laughing matter about the COVID-19 but um, we do need to keep a positive attitude uh, you need to let the universe know that you are imagining a good life and um, tell it what you want and what I want is for the world to recover um, if I can justify some of my laughing at things sometimes, um, it's that l laughter is good medicine. Uh, I think the world is going to change. I'll give you one prediction. Universities are going to figure out that it is so much cheaper to hold classes online than to maintain buildings for people to have lectures in. I think that... Um, there are going to be a lot of changes in the world because of this. Uh, I talked about the rumor that uh, Corona beer was ca causing coronavirus. Of course, that's ridiculous, but I heard some more ridiculous ones, and uh, laugh with me. Um, these aren't my opinions. They're things that I have run into on social media in the last week, and I just kind of made a note of them. Uh, one of them was that this whole thing was started... Uh, in order to keep Bernie from getting the Democratic nomination. Ridiculous. Of course that's not it. Uh, another one is that uh, God is punishing us for not being good people. Uh, enough said about that one. Uh, and this one I loved. Uh, President Trump slowed down the American response to the coronavirus because he hopes that it will get bad enough to be able to cancel the November <laughs> election. Um, again, these aren't my opinions. I'm just telling you ridiculous rumors that are going around on social media. Stupid stuff. You know, sometimes herd mentality is stupid stuff, like the toilet paper thing. I understand bleach, I understand hand sanitizer, I understand buying a few more groceries than you need, um, but I don't understand toilet paper. I've been around long enough to remember the Sears and Roebuck catalog in the outdoor toilet. Uh, I've got plenty of toilet paper, but push comes to shove, it is not going to be uh, a life-changing event here in my house. <laughs> uh, certainly, uh, I am affected by the coronavirus. I went to Walmart today and there was no pasta in the pasta aisle. There was no bleach in the bleach aisle. There was no toilet paper in the toilet paper aisle. Those are the three big things that I noticed uh, that 
the shelves were just empty. A lot of particular kinds of cereal, in the cereal aisle there were big holes, but then it's like people have their favorites, so they're buying all of them. And uh, when I left, there was a hole there too. <laughs> so I'm not immune to the herd mentality. Uh, one of the ways that it's changed my life here in the last week is that uh, when I came home to Mexico, my gardener says, oh, the lawnmower is broken. I have a lot of lawn. Um, this is a half an acre of lakefront property, and there's a lot of grass. And the, the gardener, is, uh, he's not a spring chicken. He's had to push the lawnmower because the drive wheels weren't working. Well, the grass is still growing. I got a package today, and I'm going to show you the package from Amazon in a moment. So what we have in the package for the lawnmower from Amazon are two new drive wheels, and there's this little ratchet thing. And the ratchet thing hooks on the axle shaft, and it'll turn one way and not the other way. Like that, see? So if you want to back the lawnmower up, you can back it up and the wheels will turn. But if the shaft drives, it picks those up and makes the wheel turn. So, why am I talking about this? You want to know what life is like in Mexico. So here I came home and the, the gardener presents me a bill for 1,400 pesos, mil cuatrocientos, mil cuatrocientos. And he tells me that he took the lawnmower to the lawnmower mechanic because it wouldn't pull itself. And uh, the lawnmower mechanic not only couldn't fix it, he said he couldn't get the parts. He also uh, said it's worse than it was when he brought it back home. It wouldn't drive, it wouldn't pull itself at all. Before it was a little bit, it was just terrible. Now it won't pull itself at all. Well, these little ratchets, there's a left one and a right one. And I figured out, now, I'm not the smartest guy in the room, and I'm not a lawnmower mechanic, but it took me about five minutes to figure out that the lawnmower mechanic had reversed the ratchets so that they didn't work at all. Now, one of them was broken. The other thing that was going on is that the rubber was slipping on the wheel. So I put a couple of screws in here, put the ratchet back, put the left ratchet back into the right wheel, and the thing pulls itself pretty good. It's just one wheel, and it does need replacement, so I ordered parts from Amazon. And why am I talking about that? Because I have a really good idea, going full circle, for you during the coronavirus pandemic. Stay home, watch my videos, and use my Amazon link. And being the laughing guy, this is where I say, but seriously, but I am serious. Please, isolate yourself, stay home, watch videos, and um, order things on Amazon. Amazon is hiring 100,000 people to take care of this. Um, you will limit your social contacts by ordering things online. Um, now, I'm going to put a link right down here to my Amazon affiliate uh, store. And you can order anything you want in there. And it'll come to your house in a couple of days, depending on where you live. And I get a little bit of money to support the channel. So you'll have even more videos to watch while you're isolating yourself. Hey, seriously. Oh, I did say that, didn't I? Might have to edit that out. Um, I sat with a camera on the couch um, a while ago and asked Lynn how she felt about being here um, in Mexico during the um, coronavirus crisis. Hello. <laughs> it would be better if you looked at the camera. Hi, friends. What's funny? Nothing. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you. Yeah. How do you feel about sheltering at home 
here in Mexico. Seriously. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. I feel comfortable, more comfortable here than I would if I was in America. Why is that? I don't know. Because because of... my my house is big and I can sit in different rooms, and if I have to be at home, which I feel most comfortable, um, I got a lot of different rooms I can be in or outside, sitting outside. Well, yeah, it's important to have space. Yes. And that's a contrast to the last six months of our life in an RV. That's right. Although you now have, um, how many steps are there? 14? Mm, to go to your... Or 17. To go to your bed instead of... Yeah. Three or four to get up into the RV. Yeah, but most of the time you're giving me a push. And well, that's true. I help you up the stairs, but it's not about that. It's about being comfortable at home. Well, I, I've started sleeping better at night. Here? Yeah. Because the first few days we were here, you said... It was terrible, yeah. You slept better... The first in, week. You slept better in the RV. Yeah. And why is that, do you think? Bed is 100% different. So it's what you're used to that's best. Because in the motorhome, you're, when we first go to the RV... Yeah. It takes you a couple of days to get used to the bed. Yeah. Then it takes you a couple of days to get used to the bed here. Yeah, but I I prefer the bed there. <laughs> well, let's the go. The hardness. Let's go back. <laughs> no, I don't feel good about going back. Not right now. No, now is not a good time. Yeah. Well, it's crazy times out there. Well, it's crazy times all over, but. Um, so anyway, you're glad you're home. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm better here while I'm waiting for it to clear up and go away. Yeah. Which, who knows when that will be? But I have a, a better feeling about where I'm at. Good. Me too. Yeah. Well, I want to be making videos about Mexico, but <laughs> I'm not going out much, so you're going to be seeing me sit here on the couch and just tell you what I think about Mexico. And you can help me. Um, ask me questions. Uh, you want to know about living in Mexico? Um, I've lived in Mexico for nearly 20 years. Our home here is, uh, is, is our home. We are full-timers. Uh, not in terms of the time we spend here, because we love going to the United States and spending time in our RV. But um, we are permanent legal residents of Mexico, certainly American citizens. Oh, speaking of, I heard another thing today, and this, is, this wasn't a rumor, I heard it on the news. Um, and it, it, it gives me pause. The United States State Department has issued a level four warning to people not to travel outside of the United States. And there is an implication that if you do, you may not be able to return. Well, I am a US citizen and I live in Mexico. It makes me think about things. Maybe I'll express some opinions about that. Maybe I won't. Uh, the rest of this video is going to be catching up on uh, our last few days in Arizona again. I built a drawer for my buddy Bruce in his schooly uh, converted school bus. Um, and um, if you have a schooly, I think you'd really be interested in this. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today.
get this straight, you're videoing the part where we're using the angle grinder to straighten out the mistake we made? <laughs> yes. crooked. What the hell do you mean it's crooked? It's straighter than your bus was. I straightened out your bus. <laughs> yeah, works. please show how that works. The drawer. Very nice. Put stuff in there. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Who engineered this? There you go. It wasn't made for buckets. We're going to have to cut the bucket off. That's true. Then you can put buckets in there. And the store stuff. Yeah, like nuts and bolts that are extra because you bought too many. Jerry, what are you working on now? What am I working on? Mm-hmm. What are you still on there? Oh, I didn't, you asked me what I was doing. If, if, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, but your subscribers don't know what's going on. Okay. I'm not sure my subscribers care about all this stuff. I'm not sure your subscribers care about coots on the river either, but. Well, that's true. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, friends. <laughs> uh. Not very far. Well, here's the finished drawer. Pretty uh, inconspicuous. Still going to paint the inside of it, but uh, a great new storage area for the school bus. Hey, here we go. Earl, hello, good morning, Earl. Good morning, Earl. You don't have to talk about it. Oh, oh yeah, oh, and Fritz. Fritz, Earl, hello Earl. We have a whole folding table in the drawer. And what's that one? That's a chair and oh, this is another Oh, table. that's that other metal table. And the Blackstone grill. I think so. No. no, it's gonna the drawer's not gonna close all the way then. All right. But hey, you've got two tables and a blackstone grill. And a chair. And a chair. And we could put another chair. Yeah. And we can put cooking utensils over here too. Or the propane tank. It'd be great if it'll fit. Oh don't worry, I'm gonna find stuff to put in there. Oh yeah. So Every schoolie's gonna want one. That's right. Pack it. 
Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.